Hello everybody, uh, my name is Flavie Moki and today we want to talk about how to brand yourself. Uh, brand yourself, that's the most important thing you can do for yourself and your business. Because when you do that, you stand out. We have brands like Nike, this brand like Starbucks. When you just see the arrow, like a check sign, you automatically know that's Nike. No one has to tell you what Nike is. You know, Nike and shoes go together. So that's what you want to do. You want to brand yourself so that when either someone sees something or they see an article, they're like, okay, that article came from that lady or came from that guy. So branding is very, very important. So how do you do that? The first thing you can, you should do when you want to brand yourself is you be authentic. But that I mean, don't try to be like someone else. Be yourself. But that I mean, if you're gonna write an article, make sure it comes from you, because people wanna know who you are, what your thoughts are, how can they connect with you. So when people find out they can connect with you because you are real and you didn't copy anyone else, then they can go ahead and maybe do business with you. But if they don't connect with you and they just feel that you're copying and you're not real, the things you're saying there on your blog or the things you're saying in a networking event, that's not you, then you can't connect with them. And if you don't connect with them, you can't do business with them, you know? The other thing is you should be sincere. But that I mean, if someone asks you a question, give them the right answer but that I mean don't be afraid to tell someone like they're not doing the right things you know if they're going off on the right or they're going in the wrong direction and you feel like you're gonna hurt their feelings if you tell them that please do tell them you know I'd rather someone come and tell me hey Flavian what you're doing is not right you should be doing this then because they're a friend, they feel they're gonna hurt my feelings, and later on, I find out what they told me was was not the truth. So I mean, be sincere. Come from their heart. Make sure whenever you're telling someone or you're engaging people, you're sincere with them. Whether it's gonna hurt their feelings or not, make sure you give them the right advice. Then another thing you wanna brand yourself, you should give people value. But then, I mean, when you're promoting your business, right, don't go out there and just either pull links or say, uh, this is the best gadget or join my business. And you're not giving people any value. Why will someone join your business? Why will someone get your products? You know what I mean? Make sure they know you're going to give them value. But then, I mean, educate them. Tell them why your products are good. Why, if they join your business, what... Talk about the benefits. What value are they going to get? Because if people see their value, then they can go get the products. But if people don't see their value, then you they'll be like, this guy or this lady is just for themselves. And when you brand yourself, you want to brand yourself as someone who can give value. And when people see value or they feel you can give them value, then they'll be able to go ahead and feel comfortable and uh, look at what you got. Another thing is give actionable takeaways. I can have a webinar or I can have a conference call. I can talk for maybe an hour or 30 minutes, whatever how long it is. But if you don't give the audience things they can take and go home and do or apply in their business, all you did is just give them all sales pitch and you never give someone something they can take home unless they buy your products or they use your services. The, if you brand yourself as that way, as someone who cannot give anything before you get, people are going to like you. And if people don't like you, then they're not going to do business with you. So make sure you have ways to give actionable takeaways. You say, you know what, I gave you all this. Uh, go home. Use these tips. They're going to help you. Then when someone realizes you give them some tips and they really help them, they want more, so they come to you. 
uh, the other thing, uh, lastly but not least, build trust. If people don't have trust in you, for example, I'll say, okay, you can say, I'm going to have a conference call on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Guess what? People are going to show up for the conference call at 9 p.m. You don't show up. Or you can say, I'm going to meet you tomorrow at 12 p.m. for lunch. You don't show up. So it may be like this one guy or this one lady, it doesn't matter. But guess what? All these things are going to build up. They're going to talk to other people and it's going to come back to you. They'll be like, you cannot trust this guy. You know, if you give this guy money for your products, they won't work. If you want to return them, he doesn't want to take them back. So build trust. When people know they can trust you, you can go so far. So take these tips, use them in your business. If you want more information, go check my blog, flaviamoki.com. And hopefully these tips are going to move your business to the next level. But you got to use them first. Bye-bye.